Hola chicos, ¿qué tal? ¿Bien? Yo también. Estoy muy bien. Muchas gracias por preguntarme. Even if you didn't. Thanks anyway. Now, um, we're on to audio and video number six. Okay, in our verb range. To help build up your verbs. How important is this? Now, we're in the E's. And the first verb that we're going to learn in this particular audio and video is to hope or to wait or to expect all right all of those in the same verb to hope or to wait or to expect which they're pretty much together in the same family aren't they and the verb is esperar esperar okay now this is how you're going to remember it imagine you you're waiting in a big big queue Okay, a big queue or a big line. I think yes, they say in the US, don't they? Line. And you look behind, and all that you've got behind you are a load of pears. All right, the fruit pears. All the pears. Esperar. Okay, esperar. So you're waiting. Esperar. And the pears are waiting. Esperar. So it's got all the pear in the middle. Okay, esperar. Okay, bien. Then we've got the verb to be, and this is the verb to be which is estar. Estar. Okay, there are two verbs to be in Spanish, okay? This one is, we'll not go into what the difference is, but estar. So, first of all, let's see how we're going to remember it. Imagine a little, a little boy, a little girl saying, what would you want to be when you get older? I want to be a star. I want to be a star. Okay. A star, to be. Now, to learn this verb, this is absolutely vital that you understand how to conjugate this verb. Why? Can you imagine how many times you use it in Spanish? Think of how many times we use the verb to be. Now, if you don't know how it breaks down, I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, they are. It's massive. It's massive in Spanish as well. So if you go to uh, YouTube or to our website and do a search for the Estar song, all right? We've made a little song that helps you to learn the conjugation very quickly. You just listen to it a few times, learn the song, and it conjugates it for you, okay? So do that, because of all of the verbs to know how to break down, this is the one, okay? Bien. So, I want to be a star. Next one is to be lacking or to be faulty, okay? And that is faltar faltar okay so faltar is virtually the same as fault okay and it's the same root if, for example if you look at some somebody's work and there's an error in it there's a fault in it you say hay una falta okay una falta so faltar is to be lacking and to be faulty there's a like a fault okay faltar obviously if you if you're lacking if you're missing something there's a fault, isn't it? Okay, then we've got to be pleasing. Again, this is a really, really popular, very important verb. Gustar. Gustar. All right? So, to be pleasing. Now, we we use this word, would you believe, or a root of this, um, a, a derivative of this word, uh, this verb, in English, when we say, look, if you're going to do it, I want you to do it with gusto. Do it with gusto. All right, that's the same the same verb. It's, it's even so many of these verbs have slipped into our language. Okay, so gustar is to be pleasing. You know it. Me gusta. Me gusta la cerveza. Beer is pleasing to me, or in other words, I like beer. Yeah. So I drink beer with gusto. It's pleasing to me. Gustar. Okay, next one. To talk. This is a nice, nice one to remember. Uh, it's easy to remember because talk is hablar, hablar. Now, bear in mind that the H is silent. Here, when words start with H in, in Spanish, they're silent, so it's hablar. All right, so you've got the word blah. 
in there. Blah, a blad. So just think of people talking, going blah, 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 blah. Okay, a blad. And then the last one is to do or to make, to do or to make. And the verb is hacer, hacer. Now look at that verb, the H is silent, so what are you left with? Acer, yeah? Where do you see Acer? On computers, because Acer makes computers. All right, now isn't the right pronunciation, it's hacer or hacer, okay? But that's how it's exactly the same word, Acer. So Acer makes computers, makes. Hacer is to make. Excellent. Vale, entonces vamos a repasar todo. We're going to have a, a review and see how many you can remember. I think you remember all of them. In fact, I'm sure. Ish. Esperar. Esperar. So what, what does it mean? You look behind, you're in the line and it's all, all these pairs. What are they doing? To wait. So esperar. Esperar is to wait or to hope. Okay, and also to expect. Okay, um, next one, estar, estar, little boy, little girl, I don't know why I'm holding here, I think I'm holding a star actually, little boy, little girl saying, I want to be a star, so estar, to be, and remember to have a look for the estar song on YouTube and you'll learn how to conjugate that one. Next one, faltar, faltar. Sounds like fault, and it means to be lacking or to be in fault. Okay, faltar. For example, I'll give you an example of that verb. You can say, ¿sabes? Falta una pieza. There is a piece missing. Falta una pieza. And so that's a fault, isn't it? If there's a piece missing, it's a fault. Okay, falta. Then we've got gustar. Gustar. What's that? Well, if you're going to do something with gusto, it's do something so it's pleasing. So gustar is to be pleasing, okay? Or to, to like, to be liking to you. Um, sounds weird that, to like, okay? Then we've got hablar, hablar, which is to talk, blah, blah, blah. And then hacer, hacer. It's got Acer after the H. Acer is to make. Acer makes computers. Acer. Muy bien. Pues vamos a por el número 7. Vamos muy bien, chicos. Hasta luego.